Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Alex. I'm a digital nomad. I spent my time typically between LA, Italy, Mexico, and other amazing parts of the world. And today I am bringing you a what's in my travel toiletry bag. I'm currently living in Italy for the summer, so I have been uploading lots of travel vlogs. I also do a lot of thrifting content on my channel, and then I do lifestyle content like this as well. So be sure to hit that subscribe button if those things sound interesting to you and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So I've gotten a lot of requests to show you what's in this bag because I've mentioned that I travel a lot almost the entire year and I travel carry on only. I'm also not a minimalist by any stretch of the imagination. A big part of my comfort on the road is having the products and items that make me feel like me. True story, the first time my boyfriend saw my toiletry bag, he asked me if I was going on vacation or going to battle. And I said, tomato, tomatoes. All right, so this is my toiletry bag. This is by a brand called Bag Smart. I picked it up off of Amazon. I will link it in the description down below. It's made out of a quilted cloth and it has gold hardware accents. It also has top handles for easy carrying and it has a front pocket. So I, yeah, I've really been enjoying the sturdiness of this bag. It's easy to clean. It's not totally like liquid proof, but that's why I got it in the black color because it doesn't show, you know, the inevitable leaks that happen when you do a lot of airplane travel. So starting with the pocket in the front, I have a few items. So first I have a headband. This is what I use when I'm washing my face and doing my skincare routine. I also got this off of Amazon in a pack of like 10 or something. So uh, I really like these and I'll leave them linked down below. Then I have my wide tooth comb. I have seriously had this comb for like probably over a decade, definitely over a decade, maybe 15 years at this point. It is, I have no idea where you can get it, what it's called. I actually probably think my mom bought it at Sally's, but it's a really great wide tooth comb. It gets into knots really well, and it doesn't hurt when I brush out my hair. So this is the only detangling tool that I own. Then I have this body scrub. I have been traveling with a body scrub now. I do like to exfoliate really well to make sure that I'm not getting like breakouts anywhere. So this is called the hot sock. And I picked this up when I was looking for travel diffusers. So I have wavy curly hair and I am pretty low maintenance when it comes to my hair, but I did want a way to blow dry my hair without it getting completely frizzy and like losing all of the shape of my curls. I used to have a collapsible diffuser, which I actually do have here in Italy, but it's honestly like just not that compact. So I bought this and I tried it out very briefly before this trip, but I haven't really used it in full. So let me know if you're interested in a review of this because honestly, like it solves the problem of, you know, not having frizzy hair, but I'm not sure if it's like gonna give me great shape or volume. So anyway. All right, so when you open up the bag, it folds out into four compartments. <laughs> So there's a top part here that has a hook so you can hang it on like on a towel rack or something like that. And then it breaks down into two small pouches, the top and the bottom, and then uh, two larger pouches. So I have it kind of broken down into themes. The top here, and you know, this is totally like real life. It's not perfectly clean because I have been traveling for the past six months. So the top section is mostly oral care. Then here I have skin care and body care. The second large pocket is hair care. And then down here is kind of miscellaneous like medicines, razors, thing, hair ties, things like that. So I'll start with the top section. So up here I have most of my basic oral care. I've got a toothbrush, I've got toothpaste, I've got crest white strips, I've got a nail file, a nail clipper, and then I've got some of like some flatter tools. So this is a silicone face brush. 
I got a battery powered silicone brush that I use in Los Angeles, but for traveling, I have this little one that I got off of Amazon that I'm really liking. And then I have a little bit of skincare. So I've got my Dermalogica Age Bright Spot Fader, and then I've got these Zit Sticka Goo Getter stickers, which I've actually been enjoying these. These have been great. All right, so moving on to the skincare pouch. So I have two squeezy bottles. This has a cleansing oil makeup remover. Then I have my CeraVe face wash in this one. I brought my Natrium Niacinamide. So this has been my favorite new addition to my skincare. If you have oily skin, you should definitely check out a niacinamide product. I've been enjoying this Natrium one over other niacinamide products that I've used in the past. So then I have my moisturizers. I have my CeraVe AM moisturizer that has SPF 30 in it. And I also have my CeraVe PM ultra lightweight moisturizer. I talked about this product in my July favorites. This is my Dermalogica Circular Hydration Serum. I've been really enjoying this, especially in the summer months when my face needs more hydration. So if you have oily skin, but you want to hydrate your skin, definitely check this out. Then I have my eye cream. I have some Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. I bring this with me because when we're on the road, I use this as body soap. I use it to like wash my delicates. I use it for a lot of things. Very multi-purpose product. I brought some Tamanu oil. I use this as a spot fader. So like after I have a breakout, I use this. Um, I also, if I have irritated skin, this is really great for that. And, you know, being on planes really irritates my skin. So this is a must have. And then I have my deodorant. Now moving on to hair care. Travel hair care used to really stress me out because I've always had long hair. I have very porous hair that requires a lot of product. And I try to follow the curly girl method. It requires a lot of products, to be honest. So I used to get really stressed out about bringing the right amount of product. I've just come to terms with, you know, what I pack with me is gonna get me through a few washes and then I'll probably need to buy more product wherever I am. That's my philosophy. That being said, I do pack as much as I can in my travel toiletry bag to carry me through the first few weeks, washes, etc. I have my decanted shampoo and conditioner. I have Shea Moisture products in here right now. And then Shea Moisture does do my favorite mask in these little pouches. So I picked up, I think I brought three with me this time. And I usually get like two to three uses out of one pouch. So these have actually been really, really great. I also discovered these in Mexico. These are Pantene like hydration. I was using these as a deep conditioner and I still have them in my toiletry bag. So these have actually been really great. Then moving into styling, I have my Not Your Mother's Curl Talk. I'm really glad that I found this travel bottle, but I will say it is such a pain in the ass to refill. Like it takes me like 20 minutes of like carefully squeezing things in. I really like, if there's a pet peeve of mine, it's brands that don't make travel friendly packaging. That I will die on that hill. <laughs> anyway, um, so I have this styler. Then I also have my hair gel in here. I really don't know where I found this. Probably my mom's and I stole it. <laughs> this has been a great container to bring gel in you can squeeze it out or you can also like remove the top and then just kind of scoop your finger in so this is my travel hair gel then i recently discovered the cantu curl refresh spray and i've been really enjoying it so that's what's in here it looks like water but it's not it's the cantu spray i do mix it with water though because i do feel like it's quite concentrated this has my diy dry shampoo so i make my own dry shampoo at home i bring a powder sh dry shampoo 
every time I travel because aerosols just don't last when you travel and this like tub will last me ages and then the last two styling products i have are the bumble and bumble brilliantine so this has been a holy grail product of mine for a long time it is expensive but a little goes a long way i have been looking for a dupe and i wonder if i found one right before i left la i found I it's a frizzies styler I'll leave the name or a picture somewhere, I forget. And I used it like once or twice and I liked it, but um, I wasn't ready to commit on this like entire summer. So I brought my Brilliantine with me. And then this is actually though a Frizzies product. This is the Frizzies serum that I've used since I was a teenager and I really like this. So that is all of my hair care. Again, I will pick up items as I go throughout my travels but this is like the foundational stuff that I bring with me. All right and then moving on to the last section. So this has just kind of a collection of random items. So I have a bunch of hair ties for when I'm working out, for when it's really hot, my razor. So this is the Venus travel razor. It's awesome. This is a full size razor head. So I really, really love this. I've had this for quite a while. Then I have my retainers. I'm going to spare you all. I don't feel like you need to see my retainers. I did want to share that I did actually put them in a Ziploc. Psycho. The like plastic box that they come in is honestly too bulky. Doesn't, doesn't fit my travel plans. That's how desperate I am to save space. They're in a Ziploc. Oh, but anyway, that is what it is. All right, so that is everything for what's in my travel toiletry bag. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below what else you wanna see from me. If you have any questions, leave those down below as well. And until next time, bye. <laughs>